Hey everyone, it's Hollerita, and today is Whip It Up Wednesday. Today I'm going to be making, I don't even know what you call it, pizza pasta. Now, this is one of those things that is totally customizable, as I like to say, but I'm going to show you what you need, and I'm going to get started, and then we'll go as we you know so any who's first thing is I've got a pot of water coming up to boil and I always salt my pasta water because if you don't salt your pasta while you're cooking it it will have absolutely no taste to me that's just me personally so if you use salt do it while you're cooking the pasta the pasta I'm gonna be using is the Panay Regate. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, this came from Walmart. And it is a 16 ounce box. And I will be using the whole box. Over here, I have a pound and three quarters of hamburger meat. Wasn't really enough to split it in two and make two meals out of it with a pound apiece. So I'm just going to use it all, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to season that with. And if I don't need it all, I can always put it in the freezer and add it to um, soup, chili, spaghetti, something. So the first thing I'm going to use is minced onions. These came from the Dollar Tree. They do have some other things in this bigger size. So if you see those, you might want to try to get those because the other size is like this size. Now, this didn't come from Dollar Tree, but just saying. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start my hamburger meat. I'm going to add a few of these minced onions because Neil does not like onions, but he will he can he can tolerate those. Sorry if y'all see my cabinet open. I'll show you in a minute, but um, I'm going to use just a little bit of garlic salt because I don't want to salt it too heavily. A little bit of black pepper if I can get the sucker open some onion powder along with the onions yeah we like onion I'm not gonna use a whole lot of powder though since I did use the onions and just a tad of regular salt Okay, got those going, so I'll show you what else I'll be using. I'll be using this uh, cooking spray, and I do believe this came from the Dollar Tree. I think I said the Dollar Store while I go on that onions, but it came from Dollar Tree. Um, Italian seasoning, and some chopped chives just on the top when we get finished. And an eight ounce bag of mozzarella. So, let's see, I hear my hamburger meat. Oh yeah, and pizza sauce. So what I'll do is I will fry this meat up, get it drained off, get my noodles cooked and drained off, and then we will um, be putting it all together and putting it in the oven. And I will be glad to show you that process as well. So let me get this finished up and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do all that. Okay guys, we are back to finish this up and get it in the oven. So my pasta's been boiling probably about six minutes. You don't want to cook this completely because it is going in the oven <coughs> with the sauce and the sauce will be warm. So if you cook this completely, it's gonna be pretty soggy. So you kinda of wanna go, I guess what they call al dente. I don't know what they call it. But anywho, as you see, 
got my spoon up there like I give you in the tip when I did my uh, meatloaf. Now I mixed my pizza sauce with my drained off hamburger meat and I added some of the Italian seasoning to this and I'm just heating it on pretty much on low just to kind of get it warm and I'm going to I've got my oven preheated to 375 I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan because you know with cheese it's gonna stick if you don't so I'm gonna turn the vent hood off so I don't make so much racket it gets hot in here and I am about to roast so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my pasta and I've got my colander over here I'm gonna drain it off Good grief. Like a sauna up in here. Alright. Set my pasta down there where it won't start recooking. And I'm going to take my sauce and I'm going to mix it in with my pasta. Now, you could do this in layers if you wanted. If you had to fix a bigger pan than what I'm fixing, if you were fixing, you know, more or whatever, you could um, do it in layers and have a bigger, more like a lasagna, I guess. And this is kind of in the same as lasagna, spaghetti, all of the above, Italian foods that we call Italian. I'm sure Italians may fix it different than we do, but I'm gonna fix it the way I want and I really wish I had a little more sauce. If I can get this open with this can opener will be the business. This is about the piece of crappiest can opener I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> I hate this can opener with a passion. Opening halfway, how about that? And that is just a small can of tomato sauce that I'm going to mix in, and then I'm going to add some more seasoning because if you don't, that tomato sauce is going to be kind of not watering it down, but you know. So I'm going to add a little more Italian seasoning if I can get it open. Just to give some flavor to that tomato sauce because it's if you're not you're gonna it's gonna taste more like tomatoes than pizza sauce a little more salt and a little more onion powder how do they say it cajun's onion i love to hear other accents Okay guys, that looks better. So, let me see if I can do this a little different. Don't excuse my dirty dishes. I'm in the process of washing those as always. Oops. Maybe I just thought I dropped it. Okay. 
pan is freaking heavy. So I seen a recipe and I just kind of did this on my own, but because I didn't have all the stuff to do that, but I saw where if you wanted to make it more like um, pizza, you could add pepperonis, you could add um, green peppers, onions, sausage, ham, bacon, whatever you really want. Like I said earlier, it's customizable. So we're gonna use this whole entire thing of mozzarella. I love to say mozzarella and I love it too. It's good cheese. I'm gonna sweep the floor or go get Thomas. He'll eat whatever I've dropped, I'm sure. He's like a mini vacuum cleaner. You want to make sure you get it pretty even because you're going to want this to uh, cover your whole pasta dish and you're going to want it to brown a little bit in the oven. So There you go, guys. So now I'm gonna pop this in the oven on 375 for like 10 minutes. Oh, if I don't kill myself in the process because my back's about out. I'm gonna pop that in the oven on 375 for about 10 minutes and I'll bring it back. Okay, it is done. I am excited. I cannot wait to eat it. So yeah. And I'm trying to decide what I did with. Seriously. I lost my spatula. Oh, here it is. I'm crazy. I moved it to take a picture and, you know, well. Anywho. So, there it is, guys. That's what it looks like. Now, I did put the chives on top of it after it came out of the oven, and I did leave it in for 10 minutes. Sorry if I'm shaking you around a little bit. Now, I've been letting it cool for probably about seven or eight minutes. You might want to let it cool a little bit longer just to get it out better, but I'm hungry and I'm going to cut a piece. Uh oh. I'm losing it. I'll have to call the dogs. If you let it sit longer, it's obviously going to come out all in one piece. But see that stringy cheese? Oh, yeah. Cannot wait to dig in. This would be good served with garlic toast, garlic bread, whatever. Uh, breadsticks. Even cheesy breadsticks. You know, how can you go wrong with more cheese? So, anywho. I can't get it out. And I want it. Just a fun fact. I've had this spatula since I was married <clears throat> 30 years ago. I will assure you they do not make spatulas like this anymore. Look at the handle. Where it has been left laying on a skillet, an iron skillet, and was in the oven and the oven got turned on and the handle melted. Did it ruin it? Mm -mm. So yeah. Talk, I don't even know if it has a brand. If it did, you can't see it anymore. But anyway, that's just a fun fact. Had that thing forever. So here is my dinner, guys. Pizza pasta. Now, you could put pepperonis on top of this before you put it in the oven. Like, after you put your cheese on, you could put pepperonis on top. And that would make it really good. I'm not a big pepperoni fan, but I still think it would be good. So anyway, guys, I am going to get me a fork 
and I'm going to chow down. So, if you liked this video, be sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Leave me some comments. You know I love them. Let me know if you try this and if you like it. And share my videos, guys. We're growing every day. And I appreciate all your help. And I appreciate everyone who watches. Everyone who is supporting. Everyone who leaves a like. I appreciate all of them. So, until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Whip It Up Wednesday. Hugs and love. Bye.